Hi everyone, welcome back to Uncorked. Today's guest is Dr. Sid Lister. Dr. Lister is a chiropractor with a special focus on orofacial pain. So welcome to Uncorked, Sid. Thank you for having me. You know, some people meet by networking, some people meet by necessity, and you and I met of, of, of necessity. I have patients coming in that have all kinds of wild and wonky symptoms, and when I see them and examine them, I realize after all my testing, it's not a dental problem. And it was always a problem. I didn't know where to send these patients until, until we met. And now I have a place for the patients to go that they can actually find relief from their symptoms. So thank you and uh, joining us today. My pleasure. Sid, this is the point where, you know, I introduced one of my wines from my vineyard, but I know that you don't drink alcohol. So in honor of you and with respect, we're gonna drink one of my favorite electrolyte beverages with you, G2. That's so, fabulous. you know, get ready to get hydrated. All right, thank you. <laughs> and we'll twist it just like a sommelier does. Oh, that's amazing. All right. So I want to toast you for being here. Cheers. Cheers. Best G2 I've ever had. Yeah, very, very good. <laughs> okay, Sid, are you ready? I'm ready. My team has selected two questions for you and I want you to pick three. Okay. All right, so are you ready for question number one? I'm ready for question All right, number one. All right, you pick. I'll go with this one right here. That is question number one from the board. All right, so Sid, what are the most common reasons you see patients for complaining of jaw and facial pain? I mean, the most common thing that we, the most common reason patients come into our office is because of pain and fear, right? When patients come into our office, obviously they've been referred here because they have some ongoing issue or pain associated with their jaw and their mouth, oftentimes their head, right? So that's the main reason why we see these patients, you know, or professionals like you feel that there is something non-dental related that needs to be looked at from another set of eyes. So it's great to collaborate with other professionals. Absolutely, you know, that, that's one of the biggest parts of what we do, is making sure that we rule out one thing to include another thing. So for example, when a patient comes in and, and, the, and a doctor like yourself or a specialist like yourself thinks that they have a root canal problem, but it's not a root canal problem, it's referred musculoskeletal pain or referred from a muscle around the mouth, you know, we've now known that you've ruled out the odontogenic problem we know what we can focus on to rule in what might be causing their issue. And it reverses itself as well. So you can rule out a musculoskeletal problem and it can actually be a, a tooth problem. Correct, like the case we collaborated on recently. You know, I've always said, it doesn't take a single person to build a village. And it's the same thing with pain, right? So it takes multiple practitioners across an allied health team to make sure that we rule out everything and we get a great diagnosis to help the patient. So that multidisciplinary approach to a patient's holistic care is key. It's the only way we'll find success with chronic pain or stop chronic pain before it begins. Right, and we can just satisfy so many patients that live with this and there may be a simple solution. Yeah, and that's been the biggest barrier right now. And unless we start collaborating more, training more, educating people more, and in the oral facial pain world, in terms of advanced training, advanced diagnostics, and seeing what we see in a clearer picture, patients won't find success. They'll just find, you know, a spiraling, you know, drain of chronic pain. And they'll be going from doctor to doctor to doctor until they find someone like you and your team that can actually exclude things and come to a final diagnosis and met out the treatment. Absolutely. Fantastic. So, are you ready for question number two? Yep. It's like a game show, no? It's like a game show, yeah. All right, great. you select. I'm gonna choose that one right there. All right, question number two. You know, really there's two different audiences, okay? There's me representing dental professionals and there's the general public that may be watching. So how can we be more proactive with prevention? You know, that's a big question. You know, I'm gonna unpack it a little bit. With, with prevention from a, from a dentist's perspective or a medical doctor's perspective or a chiropractor's perspective, it starts with education. And right now, we don't get a lot of education in oral and facial pain. So what we need to do is start getting that education in, into the entry dental school levels and the entry chiropractic school levels to make sure that we all have the proper training in order to properly examine and diagnose oral facial pain because it is a beast all of its own. So dentists should have training in musculoskeletal problems and chiropractors, physiotherapists should have training in dental problems. Absolutely, because if we don't know, if we don't know what we don't know, how are we going to properly diagnose patients? And then having that multidisciplinary approach to that patient, that holistic approach, 
they can obviously be better off and the patients can get a resolution to the pain that they're experiencing. Absolutely, because if, if we look at it from a multidisciplinary approach, we can cover all the areas, like you said, dental, musculoskeletal, neurologic, and this way we can help patients get better. And I know you and I have had patients that have been going to dentist and dentist and then doctor and physiotherapist, and they've seen multiple practitioners when if just the education was there and we can make that diagnosis either by exclusion and or exclusion, they'll be at make, make a better fa and a faster uh, ability to get resolution of their symptoms. Absolutely, and that's where it kind of goes to the parent, right? How does the parent know what to do? Let's say their kid's jaw locks, or let's say their, their kid's starting to have pain chewing, or let's say they're having pain chewing or their jaws locking. How do they know who to go to, right? Pre-screening or prevention is more important. The last time they went to go see their dentist, did they do a musculoskeletal and dental hygiene check? The last time they saw their chiropractor, did the chiropractor take a look and say, hey, you're starting to show signs that something might be going wrong. How do we get to it before it happens? And that's my big passion is pre-screening, right? Setting a basis and an education for pre-screening patients for oral facial pain so that they don't get to the next level of pain. Amazing. All right, are you ready for the last and final question? Absolutely, I feel this is like a great game show okay. opportunity. Question number three. I'm gonna choose this one right here. Good one. Okay. All right. Now, I have my backstory on how I ended up in, in endodontics. How did you find yourself in, in this special focus with TMJ and musculoskeletal problems? Uh, it, it's a very weird story. You know, I was fortunate enough that my aunt owned a lot of physiotherapy clinics in the United States. And so as I was growing up, I got some opportunity to get some advanced training in, in chronic pain. And this patient was referred to me early on in my career. Um, she had seen 57 doctors for her back and uh, she was not having success. So she was re referred to me and slowly but surely we were able to get her better just because that very originating therapy was not done properly. So we went back to the basics, you know, some of the stuff I had learned in practice and from these courses and we were able to rehabilitate her. We call her patient zero um, because she's the very first oral, pa oral facial pain patient I had. So. Subsequently, this, a doctor from Mount Sinai referred me back the same patient, asking me if I'd be willing to treat her jaw. Um, he's been somewhat of a mentor towards me, and to his credit, um, I said, I'm not, I don't know enough, and he committed to helping me learn more about oral and facial pain, and uh, here we are 20 years later, uh, close to 10,000 facial pain patients. We've taken tons of data and research from what we've done, and we're really trying to build a standardization of care because what we know is that we, what we do works. And how many years has it been? Uh, it was 2002 when I saw my first facial pain patient. That's amazing, 10,000 patients later. And it, it's amazing, even to this day, you know, the type of work that you do is really not known, not only by the general public, by, by dental professionals as well, who see these patients seeking our care. And it's amazing, today we're here talking to you, creating the awareness that we need, not only for people like me, but also for the general public, and now they have an actual place to go to, to seek you know, um, their, their resolution of their pain. And that's what's so great about the John Facial Pain Center. We really strongly believe that conservative rehabilitation based on best practices for muscles and joints associated with other parts of the body is really what's gonna find success and our, our results tell the tale. That's amazing. So I thank you for creating this and having your team available uh, to help patients that, that are in need. I appreciate that, thank you very much. Sid, before we sign off, I mean, this whole Uncork series is uh, related to my passion in wine and uh, I know you don't drink and we're having our G2. What is your passion in life? I mean, my real passion outside of my family is, is kite surfing. You know, this is what I do outside of my office. Um, to relax, uh, but as I go forward in the twilight of, career, of my career, I'm really hoping to set a standardization for care and pre-screen patients and make sure patients have a place to go to get safe and effective therapy for oral facial pain. So for those that are watching, if they have a similar problem or can relate to what we're discussing, where can they, where can they get help? Is there a, a link that you have that you can direct them to? Thejawcenter.com thejawcenter.com. How easy is that? Very easy. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you for joining us on Uncork, and I wish you all the best with your clinic and with your patients and with your passion in life. Thank you again for having me. Thank you.